that everyone at this moment join us to explore the beauty and uniqueness of Tao Sug tribe. Tao Sug. It derives from Tao meaning man and Sug meaning current and thus translates into people of the current or mga taong sanay sa dagat. Ang Tao Sug ay isa sa pinakamalaking tribo ng mga Muslim sa Pilipinas. Sila ang naunang tribo na yumakap sa Islam. Ayon sa panayam ni Cedric Castillo, hindi daw naman totoo na matatapang ang mga tausog kahit wala sa lugar pero itong branding na ito raw ang pagiging matapang nila ay mismong nakatulong sa mga tausog para protektahan ang kanilang teritoryo. Hindi sa madugong digmaan at ubusan ng lahi kundi sa matitingkad na kulay ng tradisyonal nilang kasuotan. Nais daw makilala ng mananahing si Saada ang tribong kanyang kinabibilangan. Tausog na tubong sulu si Saada. 1987 nang magpasa siyang lumuwas ng Maynila para humanap ng mas magandang buhay at para umiwas sa kaguluhan. Nung maliit pa ako, mga siguro 5 years old pa ako, ganyan, maalala ko na yun. Yung nagigira doon, tapos mayroon lumilipad mga eroplano, ganon. Nagtatago kami. Lahat ng kausog na matapang, hindi totoo yun. Alimbawa, yung nagsalita siya, sabi niya, gagawin niya. Gagawin niya talaga yun. Pag galit siya, tapos sabi niya, gawin ko yan, gawin niya talaga yun. Ilala sa pagiging matapang at malaya. Ganito ay nilarawan sa official website ang probinsya ng Sulu ang ethnic group na siyang dumudumina sa buong lalawigan. Ang mga tausog sa artikulo rin sa website, sinasabing ang kaduwagan para sa mga tausog ay katumbas ng pagdadala ng kahihiyan sa pamilya. May basihan daw ang ganitong stereotyping sa mga tausog at sa iba pang mga ethnic groups sila sa isang tradisyon dahil wala naman silang military noon, wala naman silang kapulisan. So meron din silang uh, miyembro ng kanilang lipunan na nagpoprotekta ng kanilang lipunan. At ito yung mga tinatawag nga nilang warrior group. Hindi yung parang uh, sa Hollywood na uh, ready to kill, pupunta at uh, mag-invade ng isang territory, ganun. Hindi naman Matapos ang pananakop ng Kastila, more than 500 years ago daw, ay tinaguri ang Unconquered Kingdom itong Sulu, matapos ang pagdepensa ng mga tausog sa kanilang lugar. Isa raw itong posibleng dahilan kung bakit tumatak yung pagiging matatapang nitong mga tausog. Ang mga tausog ay nagtataglay ng lakas ng loob na walang pag-aalinlangan kaya nabansagan silang taong maisog o matatapang na tao. Sabi nga nila, mabuting kaibigan pero masamang maging kaaway. Ngayon nasisiguro kong nararamdaman mo na rin ang sakit dahil nabisto ng kasamaan mo. Isang bagay lang nakalimutan mo, Kapitan. Ang tiyaga naming mga Muslim. Hindi kami tumitigil. Lalo na sa pagkikipaglaban. Diyan kami matyaga. Kaya sumama ka sa akin. Tangin ang mong muslim ka! Una kang mamamatay! Ang dapat sa inyo itaboy sa dagat! Wala kayong karapatan dito! Karapatan? Anong karapatan ang hinahanap mo? Kapitan, nung dumating ang mga Kastila, Kaming mga Muslim ang lumaban sa kanila. Umalis sila. Naiwan kami rito. Nung dumating ang mga Amerikano, lumaban din kami. Umalis sila. Naiwan kami. Ganon din ang ginawa namin sa mga hapon. Pero ikaw, Kapitan, hindi ka na makakalis dito. Maiiwan ka dito. Dahil sa papatayin kita. Kaya bumunod ka, Kapitan. 
May mga bala akong inilalaan para sa'yo. You son of a bitch! The 2000 government census reports the Taosub population in Mindanao at 894,207. They are found in significant numbers in three of the five provinces of the Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao or ARMM which consists of Basilan, Lano del Sur, Maguindanao, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. They compose the majority in Sulu province, particularly its northern part, Hulu Island and the neighboring island of Pata, Marungas, Tapul, and Lugus, and to a lesser extent in Siasi and Pangutaran. In this province alone, they number half a million or 528,299, making up 85.27% of its total population. The two other provinces of the ARMM with a Tauso population are Tawi-Tawi, where they number 114,842 or 35.63% of its total population, and Basilan, where they number 76,366 or 22%. Other ethnologistic group in Sulu include the Samal, the Yakan, the Samadilaot, and the Hama Mapun. The Tausug are also in Zambunga City where there are 98,334 or 16.4% of the city's total population. The Tausug speak Bahasa Sug, a Malaya Polynesian language related to the Visayan variety spoken in Surigao, and write in a Malayo Arabic script known as Jawe or Sulat Sug. The government census reports that the Taosug speakers in the whole island of Mindanao number 747,530, which is 146,804 Taosug persons less than the reported total Taosug population. Thus, the number of Taosug speakers is not necessarily equal to the number of persons reporting their ethnic identity as Taosug. Magandang umaga Marayaw may naat Magandang hapon Marayaw mahapon Gandang gabi Marayaw dum Kamusta ka? Mauno-uno na ka Salamat Magsukul Ingat ka, kamaya, maganda ka, malingkat ka, gusto kita, mabaya ako kay mo, mahal kita, kalasahan takaw. So good day, today I will discuss the government of Tausug. So the government is headed by the Sultan who is elected by the small staff. Beneath him, things are run by the latus common to the southern Philippines, although here they are said to be descendants of the original sultan. So the political system of the sultanate was patrilineal. The sultan was the sole sovereign of the sultanate, followed by the various maharaha and raha titled subdivisional princes. So the people who held the stability of the community along with the sultan and the Panglimas or the Ruma Bikura. So Ruma Bikura is the State Council Advisors. Dato Rahamuda, Crown Prince. <coughs> Dato Maharaha Adensuk, Palace Commander. Dato Ladhaladha Laot, Admiral. Dato Maria Laila, Commission to the, of Customs. Dato Amir Bahar, Speaker of the Ruma Bikara. Dato Tumagong, Executive Secretary. 
Datu Huhan, Secretary of Information, Datu Muluk Bandarasa, Secretary of Commerce, Datu Sawahan, Secretary of Interior, Datu Bandalaha, Secretary of Finance, Mamaneho, Inspector General, Datu Sakandali, Sultan's Personal Envoy, Datu Nai, Ordinance of Weapon Commander, Wazil Prime Minister, Among Gugubat, Korer, also has special status in the community as they are believed to have direct contact with the spiritual realm. Custom and Traditions Kausuk has a traditional dance called Pangalay. It is a Southeast Asian dance also known as fingernail dance. This dance is originated from Sulu Islands and created by the Taosuk people. In terms of technique, this dance is also similar to the Javanese and Thai form of dancing. Pangalay dance is performed mainly during weddings and other festive occasions. There are two alternate versions of this dance. The first one is the Pangasik and the second one is called Pangiluk. Pangasik performed mainly by males and Pangilok performed by both males and females. Music Taosuk have various musical instruments. It is played solo or as a group. Most notable is the Kulintangan Ensemble. Kulintangan Ensemble consists of two gandang or drums, a tunggalan, targe gong, a duwahan set of two paired gongs, and the Kulintangan, a graduated series of 8 to 11 small gongs. At least five players are needed to play the ensemble, which is used to accompany dances or provide music during celebrations. Other popular instruments are the gabang or the native xylophone and the viola or native violin. Gabang is the most popular musical instrument in Sulu with 14 to 24 keys divided into 7 note scales. It is used to accompany Taosuk vocal music such as the sindil. Sindil means love song. Clothing. The native attire of Ataosug for boys consists of bajalapi, the upper, kupot or pants, kandit, a tailang nga ginabotang nila sa ilang hawak, and pisiyabit, tailang nga ginabotang nila sa ilang ulo. The native Taosug female attire consists of patanga, the headdress, bang, the earrings, gantong liog, the necklace, janggay or the metallic fingernail extension, bajabia tawi, the upper, galang or bracelet, saklay habul tiyahian, or telang nga ginabutang nila sa ilang abaga nga murag sash, and sawal kantiyo or the skirt. Festival Pakaradhan Festival showcases the cultural talents of the different Muslim tribes in Tagum City with a common goal, that is to preserve, promote, and celebrate the tradition of five dominant tribes in Tagum City, namely the Kaagan, Maranao, Magindanao, Tausug, and Iranon. Halal Food Festival The event features food, apparel, fashion accessories, food processing techniques, and other products and services that are halal certified. Since 2014, the ARMM has held food festivals to showcase an astounding range of foods distinct to each province. The food festival marks the celebration of the region's diverse flavors reflecting its culture, and a celebration of cuisine and culinary talents of the Moro people. The food festival is made even more cheerful with live kulintang. Arts The Usug visual arts are represented by carvings, metalworks, woodworks, tapestry and embroidery, mat making and basketry, textile and fashion, pottery, and other minor arts. Mindanao and Sulu have developed okil or abstract motifs, which are carved, printed, or painted onto various media. These motifs are suggested of leaves, vines, flowers, fruits, and various geometric shapes. In making arts, naay ginafollow nga guideline ang mga tausog. Ginaprohibit nila ang pagbuhat og mga art crafts that represents to human and animal forms. Foods. I will summarize few recipes of the Tausug which originated from the island of Hulu, such as the Tiula Itom or Black Soup, Kinilaw, 
Kaosig uses vinegar to wash the fish and uses citrus fruits and other souring agents to denature the fish meat. Siagul, a special type of seafood, na usually the main ingredient is the page or ray fish. Pialam, a Filipino dish prepared with stewed fish or nilagang isda cooked with turmeric, ginger, and lemongrass. Piasak, Commonly, liver meat ang ginagamit ani nga dish and one of the tausog favorite dish. Kaliya, Piyanggang manok, a chicken that is marinated in a curry paste made from blackened coconut. Suwan-suwan, paksiyo or paksiyo, siyanglag, piyoto or puto, and bianban. Popular food in tausog. Tiyula itong. This black soup is usually served during special occasions like Muslim weddings and is known to be one of the dishes served to royalties. This dish takes its name from tiula, which means soup or stew, and itum, which means black. The soup's color came from the burnt coconut meat, which flavors the dish, making it unique from any other dish found in the Philippines. This dish is surely unique and is rarely served in typical Filipino restaurants. The most popular food besides tiyula itum is the siyanglag, puto, and bianban. These foods originated from one source, the cassava. As a replacement sa rice, most tausog usually eats siyanglag, a roasted cassava, puto or puto, Bianban, made from grated cassava and coconut wrapped in a banana or coconut leaf in elongated form and then boiled until cooked. Naasa ilhan tradition ng ang unang kaunon is yang lag, piyuto, and bianban before ang kanon. So dali ra ka may ilhan sa mga tausog if you are not originally from Sulu, pag once wala ni mugi kaun og una ang any of the cassava food. So the tausog love to eat cassava food, kay kung i-compare manato sa rice, maglast last dugay ang cassava food sa stomach more than 6 hours. The cassava foods are almost compatible with all viands, especially the roasted fish mixed with seafood. Marriage Kasagaran dyan nga practice sa mga tausog when it comes to marriage, kay arrange marriage by parents. Ilang wedding, ginaheld mostly balay sa babae or sa lalaki. Ang mga lalaki kay pwede makasal up to four times as long as ma-provide lang ang needs sa mga babae. Prior to the wedding, the bride and groom performs a traditional tausog bath. According to them, ang pagligo daw is para mahimong kalmado ang bride o groom. And then, when it comes to kissing, para sa ilaha, kissing is not a legal requirement or act within a wedding ceremony. Personal choice lang between sa bride or groom and whether they feel comfortable doing so in public. Tausog economic, tourism, and other contribution to Philippine society. So, Tausog economy is based largely on agriculture with rice as the principal food crop supplemented by cassava, yams, corn, and various grains. Coconuts and hemp are important cash crops fishing, trading by sea, and various hunting crops. Notably, metallurgy are also pursued. Aside from being known as the best, gallant and ferocious freedom fighters of the world, the Taosug are famous for being the best pearl divers in the world. Fishing is done in offshore waters from motorized boats using bamboo traps, hook and line, and fishing nets. So aside agriculture, there are also tourist spots in Sulu. One of the best places to visit is the beach since Sulu Archipelago is comprised of coral islands. People in Sulu are approachable, maong daghan pod nga mga foreign people ang nagavisit to witness its beauty. 